Oh, welcome back to the Ask SP desk, Rad. Uh, what's that? Oh, it says it missed you. Oh, I've missed you too, desk. And you too, Goose. Now I'm ready and raring to have a red-hot go at answering some of these spicy questions. Uh, what about some mild questions? Oh, yeah, we can add a little chilli powder to them. Sounds All good. All right. Well, let's get stuck in with this one from Undyne in Waterfall, Victoria. Hey, I was just wondering if you have ever played Undertale, and if so, liked it, and also if there was any chance that a sequel would be coming out as Toby Fox has been dropping hints. Please do this. Hell! Boop! Cha ching! Oh, wink aside. Ew. P.S. Love your show. Thanks, Undyne. In answer to whether we've played Undertale, well, yes. Yes, we have. In fact, we reviewed it. Twice. Once when it was originally released on PC, and then again last year when it came out for other platforms. There's a lot to like about its quirky characters and sense of humour, and it's great to see the community that's formed around the game. I recall my feelings about Undertale were a bit more mixed, but it's still a highly unique and memorable game. As for whether there'll be a sequel to Undertale, well, I'm not sure. Has the developer been dropping any hints? Because I haven't seen any. But I do hear it's coming to Switch in September. Ooh, well, as we know, the internet community do love to speculate. I believe Toby hinted on the Undertale crowdfunding page a few years ago that if he had leftover funds, he may extend the world of Undertale, possibly with another game. And there has been the odd cryptic social media post over the years, but I haven't seen anything concrete. Hmm, so it seems its very nature is shrouded in darkness, as Toby might say. But moving on to our next question, and it's a video from Jordan. Hey, SB, I've got two questions. One, what is a good Wii game? Two, are there any more Mario games coming up for the Nintendo Switch next year and this year? That's all for now. Bye! Oh, thanks, Jordan. Make sure you keep an eye on the email you supplied so we can send you your nifty GGSP pin. Now, to your first question of what is a good Wii game, well, that's a bit of a philosophical one, isn't it? What is a good Wii game? What is a good game? What is it to be good? What is the meaning of life? Oh, these are the questions for the ages. Uh, yeah, but, Rad, we don't actually have ages. So how's about we just name a few good Wii games? Um, there's actually quite a lot. Some I would recommend are the classic Mario titles, like Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, New Super Mario Bros Wii, Super Paper Mario, plus the always popular Mario Kart. I also really like Donkey Kong Country Returns, Smash Brothers Brawl, Sonic Colors, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing, and of course, cutting a rug in any of the Just Dance titles. Oh, and Mario Power Tennis. Now, on to whether there will be any more Mario games for the Switch coming up this year or next year. Well, we do know that Mario will feature in upcoming games like Super Mario Party and Super Smash Bros Ultimate. And there could be some ports of older Mario games, like new Super Mario Bros. U, which is rumoured to be coming to Switch. But whether there will be other new games, we're not so sure. Mm, who knows? Maybe we could see more DLC for Mario Odyssey, or a sequel, or maybe there'll be a new Mario Kart game. No, oh, that's all just speculation for now. It's all a bit pie in the sky. A flying pie? Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah, that would be cool, actually. Uh, now, let's take a look at another question, and this one is from the girl who switched bodies with Rad in wherever the heck Rad is. Oh, I knew I felt funny before. I thought it was just a bad cheese toasty. But it was body swapping. Hi, I have some questions for you. One, why do hackers you do bad things in games want to hack? Two, what is the hardest game ever made? Thanks. P.S. Rad, can I have my body back? Thanks, girl who switched bodies with me. Ugh. I believe we are all switched back into our original respective bodies now, but uh, what a wild ride. As for why some hackers do bad things in games and want to hack, well, it's hard to say without getting inside the mind of a hacker. Yeah, it could be boredom, a desire to show off their technical skills. Uh, some might just want to cheat at a particular game or just cause mischief. Either way, I think we can all agree that it's not cool. And it goes against the very first part of our GGSP motto, which is be nice. So remember, it's best to play games the way they were designed. Now, to the question of the hardest game ever made, mm, well, I'd say that's down to the individual. Different people find different things challenging in gaming. But hey, uh, let's see what Darren has to say now that he's safely back in the cloud and far away from his lasers. Wait, what do you mean Darren was out of the cloud? Uh, oh, no, no, that's just a uh, figure of speech. <laughs> Hello, Darren speaking. Hey, Darren, it's Goose and Rad here. Uh, how are you enjoying your digital existence again? And I mean, not that you have left it. I mean, oh boy. Oh, it's a delight to be back in the cloud amongst all this infinite data. Great, great. Uh, well, just wondering if you know what the hardest game ever made is. 
Well, a game that a mere squishy human player finds challenging would be a breeze for a pro like myself, of course. But some games that are generally considered to be the hardest of all time include the NES version of Battletoads, which is a beat-em-up style game, a Dwarf Fortress, the fortress building management sim with roguelike elements where the philosophy is losing is fun, or perhaps Ghouls and Ghosts which actually requires the player to play through the entire game twice to reach the true final ending. Oh, sounds punishing. Affirmative. Some more recent examples of frustratingly challenging games include Getting Over It, Trap Adventure 2, and some levels of Geometry Dash. Oh dear, I will not forget playing those anytime soon. Eh, eh. <laughs> eh, dun, dun, dun. Well, uh, what do you find the most difficult, Darren? Rad, are you forgetting that I am a master of gaming? Nothing is too difficult for Darren, but it was rather difficult to bid adieu to my lasers upon returning to the cloud recently. So much so, it inspired me to start developing an app to enable wireless laser control, meaning I could soon laser noobs for days for the comfort of my very own digisphere. Oh, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, okay, thanks Darren, bye. Uh, well, on that terrifying note, we are out of time. If you'd like to send us a question, then you can go here. And remember, the best way to score yourself a GGSP pin is to send us a video question and see if it gets picked. Goose, did something happen with Darren while I was away? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Rad. <laughs> That's, uh, what's that over there? Is that, is that popcorn? Is that a popcorn? Someone just left popcorn? <laughs> that was close.